<laughs> ah, this is a life, buddy. Put loose, fancy free, on holiday. We're lost. Impossible. I know exactly where we are. We have been for ages. We're in deepest Ruritania. Doesn't it bring out the adventurer in you? It brings out the hunger in me. Yeah, try one of those. What are they? Some fine Ruritanian delicacy? No, egg and peanut butter sandwiches. Oh, good. Oh, you forgot the pilchards. Have I? You know I hate egg and peanut butter sandwiches without pilchards. I know one of us does. That's your trouble, Barry. You won't try anything new. Hey, not like me. I'm like Uncle Zorro Chuckle, the famous swashbuckler. You've heard of the Scarlet Pimpernel? Yeah, but you can get ointment for it. So did he. Do you know, Uncle Zorro, he used to laugh in the face of danger. What happened to him? They took him away. But not before he did many daring do's. He did. He did? Did he? Barry, do you never want to go where the wind blows you? Whoa! What's that awful smell? It's coming from over there. He's coming from that lake. It reminds me of the aftershave. Romance in Rotherham? That's the one. It says in the guidebook it's unique spa water. Does the power of good. Yeah, but to who? Anyone who can't smell it. Come on. Hey, look. All this talk of water has made me thirsty. Right. You'll have another pump in, though. I hurt my arm doing my daily push-ups. When was that? Last year. Bit rusty. That's because you're not as fit as I am. Not me, the pump. Looks though it's not been used for years. Give it here. Oh, your highness. No, I'm Barry. Did you lose something? I think it's his marbles if he thinks you're his highness. Do you not realise? No one has pumped that pump for hundreds of years. Oh dear, you must all be very thirsty then. No, no, you don't understand. He who pumps the pump without fear or mania is the true king of Ruritania. Hey, it rhymes. <laughs> and that, your majesty, is you. Get out of it. Anybody can do that. Shift. Pass right out to do it. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> I think we've seen enough. <laughs> I have as well. Will your majesty accompany us to your castle to await your coronation? Him? You heard him. Me. Lead the way. No, no, please allow us. Well, if you insist. <laughs> it should be me who's king. Uh, he was fetching the water for me, you know. Oh, what a joyful occasion. There will be rejoicing throughout the land. <laughs> Good idea. I'll be there. The brother's not back yet. I'll just make myself a home. <laughs> Very good. Glad to see you're on your toes. Keep up the good work. Now look, I don't want to have to lose my temper with you two. Watch this. 
I command you to let my brother in. Oh, uh, great. Uh, uh, uh. King first. Never been so insulted. Oh, you could be a surf. Surf? Going to beach for miles. And you have to repeat everything he tells you. No. Just think of all the things I've done for you. I am, but I'd still like you near me anyway. Ah, uh, that may not be possible, sire. Why not? Your coronation is imminent. In a minute? That's a bit soon. <laughs> no, sire. I mean that your coronation will take place this evening. And there can only be one king. But Barry, we're brothers. He's right, you know. Come with me. When I become king, I'll need someone I can trust. I'll need a faithful retainer. I know. I've got it, Paul. You can be my chief advisor. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Brilliant. And I advise you to give me another job. One with better money and more prospects. Sire, this isn't going to work. It really will. Go on, give him another chance. No, if you insist. Your brother could become the controller of the royal household. Great, I'll start at once. I won't lay you down, Barry. Serving me well. I'm just saving you the bother eating these grapes, Barry. I might have known you'd be skiving. I'm not. I'm testing these cushions out for you. Tiring relatives never works. Uh, but wait. I'm not going anywhere. I've got the perfect royal post for you. Something worthy of my talent? Definitely. A job that'll show off my importance? Absolutely. And do I get to wear the uniform? Positively. How's your spell? Terrible! <laughs> Nick, when is a door not a door? I don't know. When it's a jar! <laughs> a jar, dig at it! <laughs> Nick. What's got a great big nose and bandy legs? I've no idea. You have! <laughs> no, that's definitely not funny. Never mind. Could I have a nice piece of pie, please? The king would like some pie. The king wants some pie. <laughs> now that is funny. <laughs> Gee, sire, may I have a word? I'm a very generous king. You can have two. In private? Jester, be gone. Are you telling me you don't trust me? Will you step outside for a moment? And what if I refuse? Ah! I'd like to see you do that again. Ah! I defy you to do that again. Ah! Right, that's it. You can keep your rotten castle. I'll stay out here. At least I'm safe out here. At last, we are alone. Except for you and me. I just wanted to tell you, my lead, that immediately after your coronation... Ah, happy days. Yes. You, as king, will be entitled to certain privileges. Oh, like what? I can't say. Gold, wealth, jewels? Maybe it's a secret. Am I getting warm? I'll happily tell you, sire. Go on, I won't tell us all. Immediately after your coronation. Oh. Steady, steady, steady. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, oh. Well, 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 what do we have here? The king's brother, if I'm not much mistaken. Who are you? For what is worth, my name is Frederick, leader of the rebel forces, sworn to overthrow the false aristocrats. 
You mean, Barry? Oh, I'm with you. A likely story. It's true. I'm not one of them. You mean you don't wish your brother to be king? No. I want him back in his rightful place. And where might that be? Fetching and carrying for me. How do I know if I can trust you? Have you heard of Dan the Van? Dan the Van? Yeah. You know Dan the Van? Oh, yes. He's one of my best mates. Surely the name of Dan the Van is spoken in hushed tones in this province. Is it? Hey, I've got a picture here. Take that to his birthday party last year. Yeah. What? Yeah, wait. I can't see Dan. No, no. Unfortunately, he was called away just as I arrived. Very busy man now, Dan, you know. Truly, any friend of Dan the Van's is a friend of ours. <laughs> I don't think I will, thank you. But now you can help us stop the coronation. Stop the coronation? <laughs> yes, tomorrow we will have a new king. A candidate of the people. Someone who can guide us. Someone who can bring wealth back to our country. Yes, but who? Well... <laughs> yes. Who oh, indeed? Can you read this? No, that's all Rory attorneys to me. Now, this king that we're looking for, um... I've had an idea. You thought of someone? Yes. Who? Me. You? Yes. What do you think? <laughs> Brilliant. You <Is> did? <laughs> so it shall be. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm going to be king. King of Rory Jr. Oh, wait till I tell Dan about this. Hey, you like me. Oh, me. <laughs> Come along. Just a minute. Have a look. Oh. Like a million Rory Kenyans lobbies. How much is that in British money? One pound sixty. The thing is, how are we going to get back into the castle? Well, I... I know. <laughs> I'll throw this up over the battlements, and then we can all scramble up. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Dear, oh dear. Now what do you suggest? Using my key. I work here. Sir, it is time. The crowds grow restless. Please come. To me, to you. It gets me every time, though. Please come. But where's Paul? I cannot get crowned without my brother Paul. Oh, I'm sure he'll turn up when we least expect him. Please. Can you hold that as 
National dish, which has been served at state functions for many generations. It must be stone cold by now. It's a great delicacy. Uh, egg and peanut butter sandwiches. Oh, you forgot the pilchards. No, we didn't. It's tradition. I hate egg and peanut butter without the pilchards. We eat little else. Don't we? No. We've been planning this coronation for hundreds of years. We're leaving nothing to chance. My coronation? I'm king now. I reckon that puts me out of a job. Don't worry about it. I've got a special appointment for you in the new court. What are they? Keeper of the king's highways and byways. Never heard of it. Road sweeper. I should have known. Your highness. That's me. Now, before the coronation is completed, you have one more task to perform. Lead me to it. You realize that as king, you have special privileges. Bring on the special privileges. My lady, I'm afraid we can't bring it to you. We have to bring you to it. Oh, what is it? Gold? Jewels? Cut both? To the mine? Oh, mine! The king and king alone has the privilege, nay, the duty of bathing in the stagnant pond twice every day. Duty? Twice? Every day and three times on a Sunday. Congratulations! Well, you wanted to be king, Paul. Yeah. 